Ito ay isang example ng detailed lesson plan in mathematics na kung saan ginamit ko rin ito bilang COT. Okay, um, ito ay isang example or format ng detailed lesson plan. Um, we have the objective. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to. So, meron akong tatlong objective. Find the number of permutation of an object. Differentiate um, differentiate um, different permutations and letter C, solve problems involving permutations in real life. So, yun yung tatlong objective ko. Next part is subject matter. So, uh, first ang topic natin, permutations and combinations. And subtopic is about the permutations. A reference natin yung learner's modules, which is nasa module 6 in lesson 1, page 282. 3 to 300. And then, kumuha rin tayo dun sa uh, web or internet, which is andyan yung link. Then, materials, we have the chalk and the chalkboard, PowerPoint presentation, the magic box, and so, bro, uh, broad, uh, broad pen, rewards, a strophes medal, and play money. So, yun yung mga nagsisilbing reward sa mga estudyante pag nanalo sila or nakasagot. Sa de development ng lesson, so meron tayong dalawang column, yung teacher's activity at student's activity. Um, and so, basahin na natin yung nandiyo dyan sa teacher's activity, including the, the routine, yung first routine niya. And so, kumbaga, siya yung nagsasalita. First period, uh, first person. Kung ano yung sasabihin niya exacto dun sa, sa, uh, sa, sa classroom, yun din yung ilalagay niya sa lesson plan. So, yung student's activity, yun yung sagot ng bata or expected na sagot ng bata mula dun sa teacher's activity. So, after the motivation, pwede natin ibigay uli yung objective. Or, basta bago tayo mag-discuss, kailangan alam ng bata kung ano yung objective natin for that day. Um, in this example, at the end of the lesson, students should be able to uh, find the Number of permutation of an object, different, uh, differentiate, different permutations, solve problems, ayan, so ini-state niya yung problem niya. So, as we go through in this lesson, keep this in mind, how are permutations used, forming conclusions, and making decisions. So, ito na yung um, establishing purpose of the lesson. And to start the lesson, let's um, define defines first what is permutation. So, expected na sagot ng bata, it refers to the different possible arrangement of a set of an object. So, next. So, dito dinedevelop niya na yung lesson. So, may mga uh, questions siya, may mga guide questions siya na magda-direct doon mismo sa lesson. Which is, dito, um, involve ang bata. sa so, sila yung gagawa ng ta uh, task. Parang facilitator lang yung teacher. So, dito, ipipresent na ng teacher kung ano yung talagang lesson niya. Which is the permutation of an object taken all at a time, permutation of object taken are at a time, and distinguishable permutations, and last is the circular permutations. So, ipapabasa niya yung sa bata, and then after that, uh, pa-follow up na ng teacher and then i-explain niya. So, magbibigay siya ng mga example. And then, in this um, slide, uh, permutation taken are at a time. Ayan. So, meron siyang problem and example. Ayan. Okay, then, we have the distinguishable permutations. Ayan yung formula niya. Um... Meron ding isang example, ayan, and then the solution. So, expected pa rin na yung mga bata is may sinasagot. Igagayad ng teacher kung ano yung mga possible na sagot ng bata. Okay, and this slide is the circular permutations. So, magtatawag siya ng isang group, ayan. So, please reshuffle your group into different positions, ayan. Ang group kasi nun is naka-circle. In how many shuffle ways can you arrange every one of you in this group? Ayan. So, may possible na sagot yung bata. Ayan. So, dito din sa slide na to, yung trooper the game nila, nandiyan yung instruction na sasabihin ng teacher. So, kumbaga, nakadetalye na yung instruction na gagawin ng mga bata. So, in this slide, aalamin ng teacher kung may natutunan ba yung mga bata doon sa diniscuss niya. Ayan. 
And then, tatanungin niya kung mayroon bang mga tanong, mga concern, mga clarification bago siya mag-proceed sa next activity. So, sisiguraduhin ng teacher na naintindihan muna niya, naintindihan muna ng mga bata bago siya mag-proceed. Ayan. And now, our next activity is show for the game. Ayan. After ng game, ayan, magre-reward na siya ng trophy, money, ayan, yung kanina nandun sa materials natin. And then, followed by the generalization, ayan, so, sa generalization, um, i-define uli yung permutations, kumbaga, isa-summarize na natin dito kung ano yung mga uh, diniscuss at kung ano yung mga natutunan ng bata. Ayan, so, differentiate permutations. And then, dito rin papasok yung valuing. Ayan, so, kung paano ba nila i-relate yung permutations in real life. So, in a form of question, how are permutations used in forming conclusions and making decisions? And then, magbibigay din ang picture ng additional quotations for the day. Okay, ito yung isang example ng quotation na binigay ng picture. You should experience everything in order to understand what the real meaning of life is. Ayan, so napakagandang quotations. And then, dito sa slide na to, ayan, and dyan evaluation. You have to evaluate the students kung meron ba silang natutunan doon sa lesson mo. Ayan, so, individually, bring one whole and answer the following. Identify what kind of permutations are the following and then find its permutations. Ayan. So, at least 1 to 4 questions or 1 to 6. Ayan, so, pwede na nating uh, ma-assess kung may natutunan ba yung bata o wala doon sa lesson natin. Okay, and then after that, it's a check na ng um, teacher and students yung activity. Ayan. So, assignment, write an entry in your journal describing how much you'll read or learn about permutations and their applications. Include also whatever points in the lesson in which you still need clarifications. Ayan. So, hindi lang puro solving yung um, ipapa-assignment natin. So, i pwede nating ipa-assignment kung um, like journal na i-describe nila kung ano ba yung natutunan nila at kung ano pa yung mga dapat nilang matutunan. At so, dito din, ayan, isasama din nila yung ano, um, kung ano yung mga lesson o yung mga topic ninyo na kailangan pang kailangan pa ng more uh, explanations or clarifications. Ayan, that's all for now, ma'am and sir. Ayan, sana makatulong po, uh, makatulong po itong uh, lesson na to sa inyo. Ayan, so thank you for watching. And please click subscribe, like, and bell button for more videos. And para mas updated po kayo sa mga videos. Thank you!